Now to Americans on the move, more than 45 million people change their address every year, and many people are in danger of being taken advantage of by movers. But we have a story of consumer revenge. It's all caught on camera. ABC's Elizabeth Leamy has the story. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for somebody. Meet the movers from hell. I'm ready to jump on you. Get inside the house. Caught on a customer's camera delivering broken belongings. The TV's ruined. Delivering them late. Is there stuff you've been waiting for? For a year and a half. And just dumping them outside. Nothing going to the house. And everything going on the club. Oh, yeah. The fight is not over. The fight is about whether the customer should have to pay the original estimate of $7,000 or the $25,000 the moving company demanded later. He's threatening me right now. And this is not the only case. He would just go ballistic on us. Cameron Almond and Vanessa Stockmar hired the same moving company and had a similar experience. A lowball estimate of about $3,000 followed by a demand for nearly $10,000. It was crazy. We slept on the wood floor. We had nothing. The mover was Golden Hand of Colorado. I actually told him, you're not even the company that I talked to in the first place to make this deal. And he says, well, I'm the company that you need to be talking to now because I have your stuff. It's the latest problem in the moving industry. Customers book their moves online, not realizing they're dealing with sketchy moving brokers who provide unrealistically low estimates, then sell the leads to actual movers like Golden Hand that jack up the price and hold people's goods hostage until they pay. I had said, what if Cam and I go undercover Find out if he really has our goods. Cameron and Vanessa went undercover for the FBI to this warehouse and found their stuff and lots of other people's. Their stealth mission helped the feds close the case. And a nonprofit called Move Rescue, started by legitimate movers, helped them. We're able to use our network of Mayflower agents across the country who will pick up those goods that have oftentimes been abandoned in storage and deliver them to the customer Free of charge. The government indicted Golden Hand's owner on 55 counts, including extortion and theft, all because of some scrappy customers and their cameras. You can get off the property now. For Good Morning America, Elizabeth Leamy, ABC News, Washington. Now, the attorney for the company's owner told us Mr. Levin is a small businessman who feels that he did his moving work the best he could under the confusing regulations and difficult circumstances and deadlines. But those pictures, that video speaks volumes. It certainly does about many things.